Right, so this video is about how to deal with loneliness. So this video is for the man them. The girl them, this video is not for you. Yeah, you're on your own with this one. Uh, hit up one of them man there that you got in your fucking friends on for 20 Ross Clark years, innit, yeah? No woman's really got any excuse to be alone and that. There's some guy that wants to be around you or, you get me, even just want to be your friend at least and that. Man them can't always say the same, innit? There are some guys that don't have no friends and that or some guys that are in situations where they can't make no friends for whatever reason, innit? So me, I've always been pretty much alone, innit, yeah? Been alone with, always had friends and that. But me, I'm a man, I actually love and enjoy my own company and that. Now, the way to deal with loneliness, the short of it is, blood, you just got to be a fucking busy man, bro. You can't be sitting around and doing nothing. What's the alternative? This ain't some video where I'm going to be taught to pull out the violin and talking about, oh, you know, you just got to watch videos on YouTube to become a nice person and be friendly. Fuck all that bullshit, blood. Use that time that you got alone to be fucking productive, but You know, it's actually a gift, it's actually a fucking gift to be alone, you know. You get to become focused. I've watched shit with boxers and that. Big up fucking Marvin Hagler, if you know who he is. He's a legend back in the 80s and that. He was in the same weight class as Thomas Hearns, Sugar Ray Leonard and... Um, yeah, a couple other men, innit? And I remember there was one video where he... He went to an abandoned hotel to train in isolation for like six to eight weeks before a fight and that. Bro, you gotta do shit like, like this is this is how you become a fucking man of substance and being alone. It gives you time to be focused and that. The people them that are not focused, the people them that don't achieve what they really want to achieve, they're the people that are always fucking socializing and that. Me, I love my 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 my, my alone time. How do you think I get to do all these fucking videos and that? Yeah I've got a gal and she lives here and that. But being alone is a fucking good thing. There's certain man, I've had it before. I've had it where my girl was supposed to have the weekend and that, not to do anything in particular and that, but it was just, okay, I'm going to be up here for this weekend and next weekend I'm going to be down in Edmund and that. And she's got the call, ah, oh, you know, my sister's, uh, my niece has just been born, I need to go. Yeah, cool, isn't it? Certain man, they wouldn't know what to do with themselves. They would have gone with their gal. To go and see the baby. But you're a grown ass man. Why the fuck are you going to see a baby? Quay on the other side of England and that. Yeah, look cool 10 minute journey up there. Maybe. Maybe. But certain man, they would have followed their girl. Then I had it more recent. Uh, Christmas time, completely on that third property and that. You think I've got time to be following my girl for her to go and visit her sister Quay on the other side of England? And hang around there for seven days. But I'm a busy fucking man, blood. I have to, I ain't got no choice but to be alone, blood. You think here, yeah, if, imagine, yeah, like during lockdown, that was perfect as well. So during lockdown, I was alone. But me, I'm a loner by nature, innit? Yeah? So I can adapt and deal with loneliness a lot better than other people and a lot easier than other people. But during lockdown, my girl went living here. She will come see me like once every three weeks or whatever, innit? Yeah, once a month, whatever, innit? I was here on my own. You can't go nowhere. There's nothing to do up in Dead Northampton. I have no friends around this area. I have enemies, but I have no friends here. I had nothing to do but fucking work. And that's what I was doing. When I say work, I'm working on my book, working on my videos and that. Getting shit done. If I was never alone during lockdown... And I had people around me. And I know you know what's supposed to, but everyone was breaking the rules. As per Boris Johnson and them, innit? Yeah, so. This is why I don't live in, listen to the government and that. If I had people around me and that, socialising that during lockdown and that, because no one was doing that. And you think I would have got my book done? You think I would make all these videos and that? That will one day pay off. But loneliness is a fucking gift. You just, it's the way you look at things in life. There's certain people, oh, i got to go to work in the morning. No, I get to go to work. I have a job. Oh, i got to clean this fucking house. Blood, you're not homeless, you know, dog. Oh, my girl, I have to take my girl out on a date. Bruv, you got a girl, fam. Yeah. They're certain, man, they're doing well for themselves and that, but for some reason, they just can't, they're not able to meet the right girl at this time, fam. So, 
if a man was going to come and watch this video and think like, oh, yeah, he's going to give me some remedy and that blood, there's no remedy. The remedy is if you're dealing, if you're a loner, you're, you're alone and that your guy, you ain't got much friends in that blood. The best alternative, the best answer I can give you is just fucking start working on shit. Find something to do, blood. I'm telling you, when you're a busy man, blood, if you work a nine to five job and then you, you need to go home and then change and quickly go to the gym for an hour and then come back and then you got to work on some kind of YouTube channel or some business that you or a book you're right. But you ain't got no choice but to be alone, fam. See, loneliness only affects people that ain't got shit going on. When you're a busy fucking man, you have no choice but to be alone. Even there's times I'm down in Edmonton and I've got four people that I need to go and visit. And I'm thinking like, fuck, blood, like, I want to make some videos. I want to do this. I want to do that. Blah, blah. I'm thinking, no, nah, I'm going to cancel on some people and shit. I better hope some people cancel on man and that. Because I've got shit to do, blood. Imagine I go down to Edmonton and I ain't got nothing to do. I'm going to hope that, oh, yeah, I can go and visit this person, visit that person and that. I remember before, when I was younger and that, like, like 20, 21 and them things there, and I had a lot of time to go and visit family and friends and that because I had nothing going on. Funny enough, I've got shit going on. Now I ain't got no time to really be visiting family and friends and that. Even a brother. I was supposed to link up with a brother and that. To go and play pool and that. And I'm thinking, do I really want to go and link up with this brother to play pool and that? Nah, man. I could use that two hours to make a video, blood. A couple videos and that, blood. And it so happens that on the day that we were supposed to... Because a man said he couldn't make it that day. Anyway, I made videos and shit, blood. When you're a busy man... You think to yourself, right, socialising and going and checking this person and checking that person there, they're taking time out of my day. So you know what? If you're suffering from loneliness and that, become a fucking busy man. That is the cure for loneliness. The cure for depression is whatever you're lacking in. A certain man, they just think they're just depressed because, blood, you're depressed because you ain't got a fucking girl, blood. You're depressed because you're fat, blood. You're depressed because you're broke. Forget about the girl thing, because that will come later, innit? Yeah? If you're fat, if you're broke and that, don't go to your, your doctor asking for antidepressants and that. But fix your issue, blood. Lose the weight. Fucking study. Get a skill. Get a trade. Get educated and that. Work longer hours and that. So you're not broke, so you don't feel depressed. There's no such thing as fucking depression. And it's an excuse. It's an excuse to, to not do nothing. It's an excuse because you get to say, oh, well, the reason why, you know, I can't lose the weight and that, or I'm broke and that is because I'm depressed and that. It's an excuse. It's a get out of jail free card, blood. So loneliness is a fucking gift. If I was a person that was constantly socializing with people, you know, like people, they constantly come to your house and that, like, you know, like there's households and that people just turn up out of the blue and that. you think I'll get anything done. No, I need to be alone to get shit done, blood. When you're alone, you're not distracted. When you're with friends, friends are just a distraction. Ask yourself this question. What business plans, what mastermind plans do you come up with when you're with your friends? Fuck all, blood. You're talking about gal or what happened over there or happened, what happened 10 years ago. Friends are just a fucking distraction, blood. When you're alone, you, beget, you get to become a fucking animal. You get to hone and focus in what... Focus all your energies on what's important. Becoming the best version of yourself. You're never going to become the best version of yourself. Sitting around, socialising all day long, blood. You think I give a shit about missing social functions? With, I've, I've been to people's funerals, blood. And left the venue and went and sat in my car in the car park. Typing up my book, blood. You don't think I'm a madman, blood. This is what it takes to get to places and achieve things and that. I've had it before. One of my older cousins, this, this time I'm like 24, older cousin's turning 30 and that. He said, yo, having this party for so-and-so, whatever, in it, boom. I was going to go, but then I, I was able to pitch like a local, sell some lights to some guy that was, uh, that owned some, it's like a Turkish mini market. This is in Edmonton. If any of you lot know Edmonton and that, big up my like Quincy, there's a jet petrol station on the corner of Bouncers Road and Hartford Road. And there, there's like a Turkish mini market. Literally, you lot could go in there, go to the back where the meat section is, where the butchers is, and you'll see my lights. I actually installed them. 
I must have went into the kebab shop that's next door, chatting to a man, said to him, yo, I got these lights and that, and I noticed that you lot are renovating that building next door in here. Do you mind if I install them? Cut the long story short, I made like £260, £300 or whatever, selling the owner lights and that. That's way better than socialising and that. Do you know why? Because, okay, that £260 went in my pocket. I don't even talk to those fucking family members now. I ain't got beef with them, but I don't even chat to them. So why am I prioritising them over money, bro? They can be laughing at, man. You think I'm going to uh, not make money and then go... No, I'll pick money over socialising with family and friends any fucking day, bro. Any day. Because you know what? They ain't paying my bills, bro. Are they topping up my... Are my friends and family topping up my gas meter when it runs out? If the answer is no, then I will need to prioritise money over them. Apart from, obviously, my mum and my local sister. Other than that, fuck everyone, man. I don't give a shit, bro. Like, no one no one putting money in my ass cut pocket. That's why I always say, don't defend no family members and that, no gal and that. A couple of, they won't do it for you in an alternative reality, a similar scenario and that. And when you're in jail, after you are defended their honour and that, but they ain't going to be fucking putting no money on your books. They ain't going to be working overtime to nice up your canteen sheet. Anyway, man, you're dealing, you're suffering with loneliness and that. You just have to become a fucking busy man. That's it, bro. Work a job, come home. If you do the gym thing, that's you. I don't, I go running. But yeah, if you do the gym thing, do the gym thing. Come back, work on something that's going to make you money. Even if you're not making money directly, yeah? Work on something that's going to better you as a man. That's going to put you in a better financial situation. You ain't going to have time to be fucking lonely and bored, blood. Stay wise, done, man.